Hello, thank you for joining me for this presentation. My name is Mary Kate Wells, and I work at the Boston Center for Independent Living. Uh, BCIL is one of 10 independent living centers in Massachusetts, and I will be sharing information today about independent living centers and youth transition services available at BCIL and many independent living centers across Massachusetts. Independent living centers are a one-stop resource for people with disabilities, providing a variety of programs and services. And the goal is to empower people with disabilities of all ages uh, to live independently in their community of choice. Uh, independent living centers exist in every state. There are 10 in Massachusetts, each serving a different part of the state. And the independent living movement uh, started in the 70s by students who wanted civil rights for people with disabilities. They were fighting for the right to go to school, the right to go to work, and the right to travel freely in their community. Um, Boston, the Boston Center for Independent Living is the second oldest independent living center in the country. It was founded in 1974 after uh, the first independent living center in Berkeley, California. It was founded by a group of siblings of people with disabilities at BU, um, you know, with the goal of increasing inclusion, accessibility, and awareness of disability in the Boston area. Uh, something unique about ILCs in Boston, BCIL specifically, is that the majority of our staff and board of directors have a disclosed disability. Um, you know, and we, we want to help you live independently as you want. And all of our services are free to our consumers. Uh, just to give you an idea of the area that BCIL serves, we serve 35 uh, towns and cities in the Boston area. Uh, as I mentioned, there are 10 across the state, and I will be sharing a resource at the end um, so that you can find the closest independent living center to you. So all uh, independent living center has uh, five core services, um, and these services are available to anyone who identifies as disabled, and their services are free to access. Um, Independent living centers work with individuals uh, of all ages throughout the lifespan. And it's, we also are a cross disability organization. So we work with individuals with um, all different uh, disabilities. The first of the five core services is information and referral. And this is usually the first point of contact for someone calling an independent living center. And this can help um, get someone connected to uh, services at an ILC, but you, people also call just for some information and, and other referral information. The second core service is peer mentoring. As I mentioned, uh, the majority of BCIL staff have lived experience with disabilities and um, we're able to support consumers with our lived experience and use that to support consumers in achieving their independent living goals. A large part of our work is through skills training. And this is when a consumer works with a peer advocate to learn how to access services and work towards their independent living goal. So um, if you become a consumer at BCIL, you will meet with an advocate for an intake and develop an independent living plan, which will state the goals that you would like to work towards. The fourth service is advocacy. Um, so this can be at the individual level, supporting um, an individual in a, a personal advocacy situation. But this also includes systemic advocacy. So at BCIL, we do a lot of advocacy at this uh, local and state level on different disability issues. For example, we have campa campaigns on durable medical equipment, uh, transportation and the ride service, 
with MBTA um, and many others. And finally, it, the last course service is transition. And that's where we're gonna focus our attention today. Um, transition means both uh, transitioning out of nursing home is one, one of the aspects of this service, but also youth transition. So I will share some more about uh, BCIL's youth programs that are available in across the state of Massachusetts. Something you hear a lot um, when you go to an independent living center is consumer directed, consumer controlled. So ultimately it is the consumer, whether that's the adult or the student, uh, directing what the goals are and then you know controlling what direction um, and how how we support them and uh, for students this sometimes looks like learning how to set goals and how to advocate for the goals um, that they have um, and then learning more about how to make those decisions so on the youth level this uh, can look like just learning how to set those goals and then supporting the youth through that process. So BCIL's youth services aims to empower youth to make decisions about their lives, no matter, about, no matter what their disability is, so they can make a smooth transition into adulthood. Um, and as I mentioned, we do this through goals. You'll hear goals a lot. Um, we have two programs, uh, both are available across the state of Massachusetts. And um, first is the TAP program that is available at independent living centers. Um, so the Transition to Adulthood program or TAP assists high school students with disabilities prepare for the demands and responsibilities after high school. And for our youth, independent living can mean different things to different people. Um, for some people that might be getting an apartment or getting a job. For others, it might be choosing what they would like to wear in the morning or buying their own food. Um, so as long as it's a way of living that makes you feel happy and in control, you know, that's how we think you know, you're living indep independently. So what are some examples of goals in the TAP program? So TAP advocates can assist youth with many different types of goals. Here is a list of just uh, a few common topics that we uh, work on. Um, but if the consumer or family is unsure what goal they would like assistance with, that is often um, talked about during the first intake meeting when we're developing the goals with the student. So some examples of TAP goals are self-advocacy at IEP meetings. So some students would want to participate in their IEP meetings and we, they might work with an advocate on learning what to expect at the meeting, how they can share their um, opinions and thoughts about the goals, um, ask questions about accommodations they get um, in that whole spectrum of things that go on in an IEP meeting. Uh, some students have social and recreational goals where they might be uh, thinking about how to make friends after high school or how to maintain appropriate boundaries at work um, or you know, maintaining healthy boundaries with friends. Um, we also work with students on exploring post-secondary goals. Um, and this could look like learning about college options um, and accommodations, um, but it also can look like exploring certificate programs and job training programs. So it's very individualized to the student. Many students have employment goals. So this it could be uh, doing career exploration and learning about their career interests. It could be building a, a resume or, or preparing for a job interview. Um, kind of the skills that would help a student uh, get a job. Um, kind of following the job is money management and budgeting. So often students want to go to work so they can get a paycheck. 
Um, so we also work with students on how to budget their money. And that could look like um, money basics all the way to budgeting and banking. So depending on where the student's at, um, we will meet them there. And <clears throat> finally is disability rights, pride and history. So a lot of our work um, is, you know, sharing information about disability rights and protections people with disabilities have at work in school and in the community. Uh, we also talk about disability prides. Um, as I mentioned, many of our staff have disabilities themselves. And so, you know, if a student would like to learn more about their disability or, you know, um, be able to advocate for themselves or, or learn about his, the disability history, um, that, that is definitely something we can uh, work with the student on. So we offer TAP services um, in group uh, skills training setting and also on a one-to-one -one basis. Our group skills training um, opportunities are located at schools and we go into a school and we meet with a group of students to do an intake and learn about their goals. And the group would be led by a TAP advocate. And the, the topics really based on the interest and goals of the students, um, as, as long as it's a, a goal relevant to one of the students, then we can, we can work on it. Um, these groups usually take place either weekly or every other week, but that will depend on which independent living center you work with. Um, you know, we try to make the group training as engaging and useful for the students. Um, we utilize universal design for learning to um, make our material and information accessible to students, all students. And we also have group trainings during school vacation breaks. So in April. Uh, February and April and over the summer. And these groups um, <clears throat> often are more topic based. So we've done a disability pride um, series where students learn about self advocacy, but as well as systems advocacy and how to uh, make change in their communities. In our individual group or meetings, a TAP advocate would meet with the consumer to, um, and establish goals and um, they could meet at a school. Uh, we, have, we have students who come to BCIL office or other neutral settings like a community library. Um, and often we meet with students every other week, um, but this is also very individualized to the consumer's needs. Um, the advocate will check in with the consumer, the student at least once a month, but it, the student is encouraged to reach their advocate um, at any time. And right now we are also offering, uh, still offering remote services if the student prefers to continue meeting on Zoom. So that's some information about the Transition to Adulthood Program, or TAP, which is available at independent living centers across Massachusetts. The other program that I'm going to share about is the Pre-Employment Transition Services, which uh, BCIL offers and is available um, at different independent living centers and other providers throughout the state. So each school in Massachusetts is assigned a pre-ads provider. So at BCIL, we serve many schools in the Boston, greater Boston area. So what is PREATS? So PREATS is a program to help students learn, explore, and prepare for work after high school. And it's done with five core services. So it can be done in job exploration. So learning about career interests, what are the students' strengths and, and needs, um, what are some career pathways they could explore? We also, the second component is work readiness training. So this focuses on soft skills like communication and problem solving, but also some of those hard skills like making a resume, interviewing, um, how to get to work on time, 
and all those other skills needed um, when someone goes to work. Um, the third service is counseling on post-secondary education options. Um, we explore the full range of education options after high school, whether that's college or certificate programs or job training. We work with students who are receiving their diploma as well as students receiving a certificate of completion from high school. And we explore with them, you know, what are some education options they could pursue based on their career interests um, and their needs. The fourth component is work-based learning experiences. And this could look like informational interviews, job tours, uh, virtual interview, uh, informational interviews. And then we also have uh, limited paid internships for students who have gone through our pre-ads program. And finally, but not least, uh, self-advocacy is the final component of pre-ads. Um, you know, self-advocacy is important for um, the transition to after high school and, and work and um, education. So we work with students on what are some self-advocacy skills, um, how to ask for accommodations at school or in um, college or at work, um, you know, how to, learning more about uh, the disability rights and laws um, and other related uh, topics. Um, pre at at BCL is offered at schools uh, primarily. Uh, we partner with our assigned schools, and we typically have a group at our schools that meets weekly. Uh, we do have uh, the ability to work with some students one on one, uh, depending on their individual needs. Uh, pre ads we also utilize universal design for learning um, and really try to make the um, material accessible to all of our students. And um, both of these programs are free. So, so we also at the BCIL youth program, we off, off, offer parent, family, and community engagement opportunities. So throughout the year, we're offering different workshops and presentations to students, families, community partners. Some past workshops we've had over this past year are supported decision-making. So it was a presentation um, and a Q&A about supported decision-making with a guest. Um, we had a transition tips presentation for students and families on some of the things to consider in the transition from high school to uh, after high school, um, including like independent living considerations. Uh, we've had benefits uh, presentation, you know, to explain what benefits look like when a student turns 18, um, you know, how does benefits affect work? Um, and also connect people to benefits counseling as well. So we will be releasing our family um, and community engagement opportunities uh, in the next month or so. Um, so if you would like to stay informed and learn more, you can uh, subscribe to our mailing list. Um, if you want more information, uh, there's a couple ways you can get it. So if you wanna find your local independent living center, you can go to the Mass Statewide Independent Living Council website and it will list the 10 independent living centers and what area they serve. Um, if you would like to learn more about BCIL service, youth services, um, or you have questions on the information I shared, you can reach me at BCIL Youth Services at bostoncil.org. And if you would like to reach BCIL's information and referral line, which is like the first point of contact um, for either resources or to um, get set up with an advocate, you can call this line at 617-338-6665.
So thank you for taking the time and listening to this presentation. Um, we hope that you will utilize your local independent living center for you know, the student's transition. Uh, and if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out.